Good morning, folks. This is what the throws of Sunspot Minimum looks like, trough of the 11-year cycle. We've got other solar features of note and big news to report, so let's begin at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on our star were quite silent indeed. No sunspots, but we do have the southern coronal holes entering Earth-facing longitudes, interplanetary magnetic fields to set the earthquake watch tonight. The solar wind remains low intensity and is at calm range now. Geomagnetic instability happy to continue its vacation in quiet country. We want to look ahead quickly to the U.S. this week because it will include both adding to the snow records that have piled up all season, but also because midweek, the heat and energy access returns to the storm cells and numerous severe outbreaks are possible in the next seven days. Up first for the news, a completely fake story. Perhaps you heard about the asteroid drill, and if not, it is just a drill. They have mocked up grand scenarios to test readiness and response, and the orbital diagram they created for this fake object actually isn't even that scary. There is no chance of fake impact, according to the orbital ephemeris, which has it about a day too slow to catch us on this pass. We do see near-Earth objects vastly closer to this about every three days. Something to keep an eye on here. All telescopes and satellites on Earth have been in a bonanza for 48 hours since the declaration of a strange gravitational wave signal. They do say it is super weak, but it's there, and might be an active plasma nucleus actually eating a star, something they've hoped to see for a while. Up next, dust. Veterans know it's a huge issue in terms of mass and ion capture in the cosmos, and so every 2020 decadal survey pointing the finger at dust is a move in the right direction for cosmology. Excellent team, by the way, wanting to look harder there, including some of the more promising young researchers who will dominate this field for the majority of the middle of the century. And our top story comes back to Earth. It is critical for a number of reasons. The intensification of waves and wind is outpacing all other Earth changes. It is still dwarfed by the changes on the Sun, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, but it is the type of change we've been waiting and waiting to get reported. While the blame game in mainstream news will fall wholly on humans, remember this is the key type of change we expect to accelerate even more due to the magnetic reversal currently unfolding at this planet, and if it's outpacing the change in temperature, it's not down the line from it. Folks, it's Saturday, so we've got our Fly on the Wall podcast at suspiciousobservers.org coming up in a few hours, including the latest on the solar polar magnetic fields and what they're telling us about the next solar cycle coming up. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.40 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.